The time is nigh. There comes a time in each year where we look into the crystal ball or the paperweight. No, the crystal ball, for it will share what we can expect to see in 2021. So I think we can all say that 2020 was a little weird. We didn't get to go to very many weddings or concerts. Bikes and bike bags were really hard to come by and we had to stay socially distant and remain local, which I guess wasn't all that bad, but it was weird. And I think it's easy to predict that much of what happened in 2020 will also happen in 2021. But there are some things that may not be as predictable or maybe they are. So in this video, the editorial team of bikepacking.com shares some predictions that we have for 2021 and some things that we might wanna see out of 2021. So Logan's first prediction is local knowledge-based routes. Logan predicts that most of us, kind of similar to the end of last year, are going to remain local and stick to your local trails and explore the trails around your own home. 2020 saw a ton of local overnighters that were submitted to bikepacking.com. And well, for good reason, because we had to stay home. So with the uncertainty of future travels, I think we will definitely see more creative, overnight routes being developed. And I suspect that we might even see some routes, some overnighters in the Midwest, some overnighters in Scotland, maybe in New Zealand, Europe. Ah. Next up is gravel components play catch up. And that makes sense. Gravel bikes, drop bar mountain bikes, the geometry has evolved drastically, but the component companies are a little behind. So Logan expects to see more of these component companies produce, well, adequate components. So potentially a actual wide range, one by wide range drivetrain that will actually suit these bikes. While this may not be from the two major component brands out there, and we might still have to hack a mullet drivetrain, and that's totally fine, but having something that is just more attainable or more easier to install, would be great. And perhaps we just might see a more affordable wireless drivetrain. Logan's thinking a Access Rival or Access GX drivetrain. It would make sense and it's the next step. And just finishing up with this, Logan also thinks that we might see anywhere from 2.0 to 2.3 inch drop bar specific or gravel specific tires. Caravelle and Rene Ayres were kind of at the forefront of that last year. And I bet we see a little bit more of that this year. And Logan's final thought with this is somebody better make a 27.2 wireless dropper post. So those were two of Logan's predictions, but he also has a desire and that is more rack slash bag hybrids. What he means by this is a lot of bike packing bags have crimped brake cables and, and shifting cables out there have ruined head tubes, seat bags have ruined dropper posts. So Logan is seeking a bike packing bag or bags or hybrid to fit the bike better. It's as simple as that. And I think the alternative to that is racks and lightweight, super strong racks have come a long way. So over the last few years, we've seen some really compelling new solutions like the Tumbleweed Minimalist T-Rack, Tailfin's unique rack bag, Trek's integrated crown mounted dry rack, and obviously the Salsa Anything Cradle, which kind of pushes things away from your cable and housing and lets the whole handlebar system breathe a little bit more. So in 2021, Logan hopes to see more lightweight rack and hybrid carrying systems out there. All right, so Lucas's first prediction is less work, more play. No. Less won't always be more. So what Lucas means by this is, well, we've come full circle, kinda. So what we saw was two racks and huge pannier bags go to basically the most minimalist style of bikepacking out there with the lightest gear and well, 
just not as much gear. So what Lucas thinks is going to happen in 2021 is we will see more big flap saddlebags. Uh, we'll see more basket packing. We have a great resource on bikepacking.com of basket packing. And in general, just a more kind of hybrid approach, similar to what Logan was talking about, to fit more gear. But not a ton of gear, just a little bit more. Oh, what do you know? Kind of a duplicate, a rise in backyard adventure. So obviously with COVID still a real thing and probably going to be a real thing into probably 2022, I think we can easily say that we are going to find each other doing more from the door exploratory bike packing trips in 2021 because well, we have to. And then Lucas's desire is creativity reaching new heights. And I think I'd be remiss by not saying that Lucas was the one that was instrumental in Bunyan Velo, which was the publication that turned into the bikepacking journal. In a world and in a time where print publications were dying and have been dying, our bikepacking collective has relatively thrived because of you, the viewer, the reader, the folks that visit our website. So we are thankful for that. And so Lucas wants to see more creativity in the bikepacking world. And there was some really great creativity, especially considering how much we had to, well, be home or be confined to our homes or confined to our backyards in 2020. And Lucas thinks that we should see more of that in 2021 to keep the bikepacking world interesting, fresh, and awesome. Thanks, Lucas. So Miles brings up a really great first talking point, and he thinks that there's going to be a more diverse cycling industry going forward, especially in 2021. And I think there was definitely a tipping point, and it shouldn't have been this way. Over the years, there's been racial inequality over the cycling industry. What I think we are going to see in 2021 is more black and brown individuals being more of the center of attention, while the white folks step back. And I think it's their turn to be in the spotlight or at the very least be an equal part of our world. Miles believes that some brands are going to make positive change while others remain playing catch up. Miles believes that we will see a more diverse cycling industry. And I truly, truly hope we see that going forward, not only in 2021, but forever. Miles's second prediction is local makers unite. And this is definitely another COVID related projection. We've got a handful of large bike manufacturers that are basically playing catch up right now. They sold so many bikes that they are just sitting on zero inventory until more bikes are made overseas. So Miles believes that we're going to see more smaller boutique or more smaller bike manufacturers and bag manufacturers get recognized here in 2021 because well, they actually will be able to help produce more bikes for folks. And I think this brings up a good point. Buy local, go to your local bike shop, buy from a local bike manufacturer or a local bike bag manufacturer because supporting where you live is important, but also supporting your neighbors is extremely helpful. And Miles' desire for 2021 is the gravel plateau. Remember those flat bar 29ers, big tire bikes? Yeah, where did they go? Hardtails, even rigid bikes? They kind of disappeared behind the shadow of drop bar mountain bikes and gravel bikes. So Miles is eager to see more mountain flat bar hardtails because they do work really well for bike packing. All right, so Joe Cruz also has a similar COVID related projection. And that is more DIY bike packing rigs with the resources tapped out with bigger bike manufacturers. Joe predicts that we will see more bike shops produce some really fun one-off bikes. He projects that folks either build bikes with, well, new frames, but also frames that you could find on eBay and collect up components and make something that has never been made before. Being creative, having fun with it, and involving your local bike shop. 
at Angry Catfish, we did a, quite a bit of that when people brought in some really old bikes and wanting to to build them up, especially this year during the pandemic. And Joe also mentioned that 718 Cyclery in Brooklyn is doing something similar. So Joe believes that, well, the bike industry is just going to be a little bit more creative in 2021. So Joe's second prediction in 2021 is the return of the 29er. A hardtail 29er, a rigid 29er, one with a suspension fork. So Joe believes the one bike that is perfect for bikepacking under all conditions is a 29er. Joe believes that if you want to use a flat bar 29er for, say, a gravel route, there's nothing stopping you. All you have to do is throw on some narrower tires and go to town. So even with wider drop bars, flat bars still reign supreme. And Joe mentions that you can definitely add more weight and more things to the front of your bike. So in 2021, at the very least, Joe wants you to look into your garage, dust off that hardtail 29er that you have, and consider taking it out on your next bikepacking trip. All right, and Joe's desire of 2021, stop the dangle. You know that mug that dangles off your seat pack? Some people love it. I don't mind it. Joe might mind it. All right, last but not least, my projections for 2021. The first, more e-bikes in bike packing. Yeah, so you've probably heard e-bikes are growing drastically. They're the number one reason why cycling is growing so fast. I don't think e-bikes are a bad thing. I think you'll see a lot of these bikes being used for kind of urban bike packing or potentially hotel to hotel bike packing. And that's a good thing because that just means more butts on bikes. I don't think we're gonna see very many e-bikes take on the Great Divide mountain bike trail. And I don't think we're gonna see e-bikes complete the entire Colorado trail because that would be very challenging to do. I just think that we are going to see more e-bikes pop up in the bike packing world, especially with the amount of new e-bikes that are out there, both mountain and gravel. So get used to it because it's coming. All right, my second prediction is we are going to see a short travel, big volume fork. So we've seen Fox, Suntour, and MRP come up with gravel specific forks, but we haven't really seen one that can fit a big volume tire. Most of those forks have a 40 or 45 millimeter tire clearance, but why not build a fork that can fit a drop bar mountain bike, or at least a clearance of 2.0 to 2.35? something in the realm of 40 to 50 millimeters of travel. So I predict that we see a manufacturer come up with some sort of fork like that here in 2021. And once that happens, I cannot wait to use one. All right, last but not least, more bikepacking bag partnerships. This is my desire that I would like to see in 2021. And this is more of a full spectrum Hopefully we all just get along. Like we saw last year with Rockgeist acquiring Porcelain Rocket. Well, I don't think we're going to see that per se. I do think we will see more partnerships. I know Andrew the Maker already makes spacers for folks in the bike packing industry and outside of the bike packing industry. I think we're going to see more partnerships because of COVID, because of the lack of materials out there. In general, we're going to see just more partnerships, more people working together, and that's a really good thing. That's it. That was our predictions of 2021. So if you have any of your own predictions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm sure we'd all be curious in hearing those. So towards the end of 2021 in December, we'll come back to this video and see what projections came to fruition and which ones didn't. So we all have to thank the crystal ball for this one. So until next time, pedal further for the crystal ball.